Hello and good morning, everyone. Meteorologist Hutch Johnson with a quick review of today is uh, thunderstorm risks and a look ahead at the week as more thunderstorms and heat will be in your forecast details coming up right now. A Hutch's weather update with Chief Meteorologist Hutch Johnson brought to you by Robert Gibb and Sons. Hey, well, we might as well start our day out just fine and dandy as we take a look at your hour-by-hour -hour forecast. Decent conditions, very light winds, and setting things into motion here. You'll see some thunderstorms out in parts of Nebraska just roiling through. Heading into your afternoon, the western Dakotas start lighting up with a chance of storms. When they are on the early stage of the storm is when we'll have those greatest risks for some very large hail as we go through the day. Gusty straight line winds will be a possibility as well as these storms kind of take this bowing shape. And again, we cannot rule out isolated tornadoes and there is a chance of that in the central Dakotas in the early offset of the storm. So around the dinner hour, things start rumbling into the central Dakotas. They press into the James River Valley and the Devil's Lake Basin as we go towards 10 o'clock at night. These storms could still be stout with the main risks switching over to more windy type event and we could have some hail in a few of these zones as well as we head into the overnight hours. These storms will work their way through the valley as we go through the overnight hours. If anything remains severe tonight, I'll be here to keep you up to date with the very latest. These storms spread out into Minnesota bringing some of the rain and as we head into the morning on Thursday, we'll start out quiet but for our area a better chance of severe weather in that Thursday forecast. So here is a quick view of the Storm Prediction Center's risk area as we go into your day. It does look like we'll have a risk of some storms here in the central Dakotas for today. And then as we go into tomorrow, that risk shifts into the eastern half of North Dakota into northwest Minnesota, as well as the central plains, including Kansas, Nebraska, South Dakota, and off into Iowa. Severe storm threat there. Here's a look at your digits. The uh, morning temperatures will be very comfortable. Light wind, almost perfect across the board. 55 to low 50s out in the area of Minnesota to near 60 degrees. Temperatures for your afternoon in the mid 80s here, but look at the heat is on out to the west, mid 90s. Strong to severe storms in this area will move east and north as we go into the overnight hours. Thursday, our better chance here in the Red River Valley and northwest Minnesota for severe weather after a very hot day. We cool off a bit, and for the first time on a Friday in weeks, it looks like the risk of severe weather will be quite low in our area. Not the case, though, in parts of southern Minnesota and Iowa as we close out the work week there. Heading through your weekend looks fairly quiet. We heated up more on Sunday. That will lead to a better chance of some storms as we go into Tuesday. I think we could have some more organized activity there. Thanks to all of you who've uploaded photos and videos over the last several days and events across the region. You can peruse those on hutchesweather.com. Upload your videos, upload your observations, upload nature. Anything that says weather to you is welcome on hutchesweather.com. Thanks to all my fine sponsors that make HutchesWeather.com a possibility. Please keep them in mind as you have a needs across the area like my fine friends at Evco. Evco is a service company here in the Detroit Lakes area serving a 200-mile radius with all of the lubricants that you need to keep your operation going on the farm. Give Evco a call today. Let them know that Hutch sent you. For now, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for following as Hutch has finally hit 68,000 followers. Thanks to all of you. Subscribe on YouTube as well. Search Hutch's Weather to watch me in full HD on the big screen TV.